Hi, everybody. How are you today? I'm Patricia. I'm Patricia Twin Flames, Patricia McNeely from Chicago, Illinois. How are you? Hey, today I want to talk to you about March Ascension energies. You're feeling a huge time compression. It's going to seem like there's not enough time. You're exhausted. Also, the new moon. This new moon is like a marker in time. This is going to be really one that um, kind of flips people and starts the process in earnest. So if you thought that you're dealing with downloads, upgrades, you're going to start purging things that you never even thought your body would purge. I know that doesn't sound pretty. In some ways, this is a good thing, though, because this means that you are able to finally fully let go of some things. You probably won't know what that is. It's probably in your best interest to start joining my classes, my webinars, and really becoming adept at what this is really about. Now, one of the things to really know about this is it's a new level. There is a whole new level, and every part of you has to be able to get to that level. It's not an easy task, but using my modality you, will be easier, okay? And it takes devotion, and it takes, you know, a lot of things. There is going to be a lot of confusion in the air. Confusion has been in the air for over a year, and we're coming up now onto this, like, one-year anniversary of when the worldwide pandemic started. Not just an epidemic, but a worldwide pandemic. There's a lot of theories and conspiracy theories and stuff about it out there. One thing I will say about it, though, is this. Utilize it wisely. If you have not utilized the time over the past year to focus on what's important and necessary and prioritize your stuff, your life, please do so. In order to help you with that, I have a couple of classes coming up. I have one called The Sensual Lover which is to help you with those upgrades you get and to be of the senses, to be literally sensual so that you can then be sensuous. And there is another one I have coming up, which is intended to help you with the ups and downs between your physical life and becoming the multidimensional being that you are. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, I'm multidimensional, ta-da, da-da, and, you know, you're still living here. And then other people will say, like, well, I'm still human, and I have a human life. I have to, like, get this going. This ascension and awakening process is not all rainbows and flowers. Your worlds are falling apart. Things are breaking so that other things can be built up together. And this includes people. It has to include people because we are the driving force of everything. Now, that being said, not everyone may be at the same point as you. I'm not at the same point as you. You're not at the same point as me because I've already gone through the entire ascension process. And it takes a minimum this year of about a year and a half. You have to earmark your time for some of this, not just thoughts, not just thinking about it, actually putting in the light body work, paying attention to what's happening. And that is where I lead you through each stage of this, because everything in the past 10 years, that was just a staging process. That was not stages of being a twin flame. There was stages of breakdown. I hate to break that news to some people, but maybe if I say it, it's going to start to make sense. Because receiving love back actually means that you should get something light and lovely. You shouldn't get a constant shoveling of the worst things ever, right? You need to understand that God didn't put you here to drop you on your butt. So March Ascension energies are very important. There is a pivot point here, which wasn't there last year, even though a lot of people use that word. They're like, pivot, pivot, pivot. 
like it's a sports game. Just pivot yourself. Pivot your business. Pivot your love life. A lot of people are up to here. They're exhausted. The last year was exhausting. The people on the front line are burnt. They are reaching a burnout point, and it's time for other people to step in and take over. And that's hard for some people to let go of. I know this because, you know, it's been like this for thousands of years. We're holding the fort. We're holding the fort. We're the earth keepers. If I don't do it this way, it really, well, we have to do the same rituals. No. Please find out the new ways because it's easier. It doesn't require so much heavy repetition. Repetition is bending back inwards on itself. And not only that, there's a lot of people that have to get together. That part is not forgotten despite how people give up, throw in the towel, say that they're, you know, not really, maybe I'm not here for this. No. There is an agreement in place and it's a soul agreement and it's one of the most important agreements ever. And I'm not talking about soul contracts with other brothers and sisters who are on the planet. I'm talking about an agreement to follow through on your part in this. Now, in order to help with this, um, this weekend coming up, we have a new moon. This new moon energy is going to be one of confusion. It's a redirection. You have to get yourself in where you really want to be because karma is not there to support you, meaning the repeats of things are not going to be what supports you. You need what's up here as your lifeline to begin your real life because you're at the point where the real life can be embarked on now. I know what some of you heard was my twin will call me now. That's not what I'm saying because I, I hear that back from people. Does that mean he's going to finally call? No. Does that mean he'll never call? No. The call has to come through the heart, not on a device, not on the telephone or anything like that. And if you can't figure out what's going on, stop trying to figure it out. Start experiencing using my modality. The twin flame body modality is what I created to make it concise, precise, right down to the science of what to do. Because you got stuff you got to let it go of. You got place where you need to be. You got person you got to be with. And it's time. Okay. There's other things I know about time and the timing of this. That I'll be talking about. But suffice it to say that the time you're in right now, you're in the tunnel of love. Do you want to come out on the tunnel on the other side in the upstairs level or the bargain basement? Are you in feeling like you're in the basement? One of the ways to tell is through your dreams. And there are are things you need to know that I only cover in my webinars because it requires a longer prolonged period of that. You need to have a session. You need the integration. And if you have anything like deep fears, phobias, traumas, you can have my psyche body session. Do you have past lives you need to let go of? The past life session I have. The regressive part of which is through the psyche. That is the psyche subtle body. Your spirit is vitally important. It is what is much bigger than the ego. And you can see that in any of the materials I've written. It's not a mystery and it's not history. It's what's right here in the present. It's you Opening the gifts that are inherent to you. That's another thing that throws people off. People start popping their gifts open and all of a sudden they're this, they're that. A lot of times it's from the past. I understand that. But if you don't hone yourself for the future and decide, is that what you're going to do? Have you devoted your life's work to that? You're going to get tumbled around in it until you really know. If you're interested in that, 
If you want to make it easier and become a Twin Flame Body Practitioner, reach out to me and find out how. Because I need to know where you're at. That's being 5D in a sea of 3D and 4D people. Truly 5D. Do you want to know what is coming up happening? Yeah. Do you need help with your own personal ascension? This is your twin flame journey. This is your personal ascension. This is your get up and go day. This is the time when you actually get to really be who you came here to be. Not just be a better person because trust me, you're going to have bad days. You're going to feel like telling people off. You're going to want to tell the world off at times. It just gets like that. You want to take a rest. You want to lay down and sleep. You're tired of it. I understand that. I'm here to help you with it. And I'm here to help you understand who you are, why you are, access the full complement of the repository of the Akashic Records of all time for your benefit, for your life, for your existence. So thanks so much for watching. Please look for the links below. Check out my website at twinflamesmerge.com or email me. The links for the session are there. I have links for coaching. I also do couples sessions, which uh, you may or may not know about. If you're a couple who is struggling with things, because a lot of people will be struggling. A lot of marriages will struggle because there's no leg to stand on anymore with it. You can't keep triangles of energy in place. So a lot of marriages will suffer. What if you need to stay with that person? So these are some of the things that I do cover in my classes, the real life nuts and bolts, nitty gritty of your life, because it's not all rainbows and fluffiness. It's sometimes painful, tough decisions. It's watching people do things. It's dealing with the fear of the what ifs. How does the future look? And if you're paying attention to the wrong things, you're going to be scared witless. That's one thing I really hate out there is that there's people out there who find out about twin flame. They just hear these words or someone suggested or someone decides they're going to be a psychic in the moment and says, you know, that could be your twin flame. And then the person goes to look it up and they get scared to death about this. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of health and wellness that goes with it. There are a lot of upgrades. There's entirely new careers that people create. There's entirely new things that people have innovated. And love. Real love. Not the kind that, you know, hugs you and runs away or loves you and leaves you. Not that. We're so done with that, aren't we? Men are tired of it. Women are tired of it. It's not real love. Now is it? Is it? Tough love means calling things what they are. And there's a lot of BS out there. And there's a lot of things that if someone isn't paying attention, that's, you know, not really a good thing. I'm teaching you to focus, be present, and to be into yourself. And that's where your connections are. That's why the phone call comes from outer space. That's why... When you're looking at a device and it ain't happening, there's a reason for it. So come and find out, learn more, really invest in yourself and decide that you're worth it because of all the other things you've invested in, they might not bring a return on your investment. This brings a return on your investment. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you there. Reach out. Bye.